Hello and welcome to the Lightworks editing tutorial. We'll take you through the process to assemble a dialogue edit. Once we've guided you how to start, you'll be finishing the edit on your own. Working with dialogue is a great way to get solid and transferable skills for all sorts of other editing styles. So let's get going. Go to the Lightworks website, under the tutorial section, locate and download the Lightworks tutorial project zip download. Once downloaded to your system, Extract it. When you've extracted the contents, inside you'll find the Lightworks project archive and we'll restore that in a moment. You'll also find some additional project assets. Inside this folder, you'll find some music, a title graphic, the script PDF, and a couple of sound effects. Let's have a look at the script because it's the script that's going to guide us through the edit. The script you'll find it's divided into three edits. Edit 1, Edit 2, and Edit 3. Using the script, we'll be assembling each one of these edits individually, and then in the end, we'll combine them into one large master edit. OK, over to Lightworks, let's restore the archive. Open Lightworks to the project browser, and go to the cogs icon on the top right hand side. Click the cogs, select Restore Project from Archive. Browse to the folder where you unzip the archive to, select the Lightworks Demo Project.archive, and press OK. All of the media will be restored to your system. We've actually made a couple of bins for you already. One of them is called Demo Media, which just contains all of the shots in the project, and another bin called First Cuts. And it's these two shots that we'll use to assemble the first few shots for edit one in a moment. Just to point out, we've named the media so you know what edit it belongs to. Edit one, clip A, B, C and D. Edit two, clip A, B. And edit three, clip A, B and C. There's also a few cutaways as well. You can use them as you see fit and we'll put one in the edit already. If you have a look in the filters section in your content manager, go to edit, you'll find we've made rough assemblies for edit 2 and edit 3 already. We'll get to those later. Now it's going to be helpful as a prerequisite before attempting the dialogue edit, you should watch the 10 part quick start tutorials on the Lightworks website. Go to the tutorial section, go to the Lightworks 12 videos, and down on the left hand side you'll find 10 basic videos that are going to help you just orientate yourself in the Lightworks environment so you can make the most of the dialogue edit exercise. And don't forget in here there's loads of other videos that are going to be helpful as well. So absorb those in your own time and they'll really help build on your knowledge of Lightworks operation. Keep practicing and keep reviewing them as and when you need to. Okay let's start assembling edit one. Remember the script is divided into three edit sections, edit one, two and three. So we're going to do this line by line with our actresses, Kathy on clip A and Sophie on clip B. To open up a tile into a source viewer, simply hover over the tile and click on the viewer icon on the right hand menu bar, or even simpler, just double click. And the source viewer opens. I know this is source material because the border is blue. Let's make a new edit ready to receive our media. Go to the left hand side to the tools box and go to the new edit button third from the top. Now I'm just going to make sure that all my new edits are going to have a length of zero. If you right click and choose new edit settings, the edit settings panel opens. I'm going to leave the track count by default, but I'm going to change the length of my new edit to zero, so it's completely empty. Doing this will ensure that there's no black that might potentially get included in an export when you're done. Press the set button. Now press the new edit button and the edit monitor and the timeline open up on video track to audio tracks. I now know that this is my live edit because the border is red. So let's start marking some source material. I'm going to use the on-screen controls at the bottom of the viewer. We're going to press the play button and then we're going to use the mark in button to mark the start of our media. Where we stop, that's going to be the out point. It's called mark and park in Lightworks terminology. Just before we get going, I want to check my project is set to replay at 1080 progressive. If you go to the top left hand side of your screen, click on your project name, the Lightworks project card opens. Click on the video tab and ensure the output format is 1080p25. That's it, so we're good to go. 
Now we've lowered the resolution on this media so that it's suitable for replay on the wide majority of system specifications. Let's get the first cut down. Press play. Mark an in. Like I'm ever going to give that part to Monica. <laughs> and stop. Now we're going to assemble our shots using the insert button to send them into the timeline. Think of using insert as splicing together pieces of film. Press the insert button, the shot is sent to the timeline. And if I scrub in the timecode track, you can see this red line, the timecode position indicator, has been sent all the way to the end of the shot automatically, waiting on a blank frame for the next piece of media. So let's do that. I'm going to go to Sophie, and I'm simply going to drag and drop her tile into my source viewer and pick up the next line. Did you see her dress? Press play. Oh, yeah. Like I'm ever going to give that part to Monica. Mark. Did you see her dress? <laughs> More. And stop. Press the insert button. Back to Kathy, drag and drop. And clear the marks with the clear mark button. Kathy's line, more of a birthday suit if you ask me. Press play. You see her dress. Mark. <laughs> yeah, more like a birthday suit if you ask me. Stop. Insert. Back to Sophie. Drag and drop. Clear the marks. And Sophie says anyway. Play. More of a birthday suit if you ask me. <laughs> Mark. Anyway, well, she told me once that when she was in Mexico... I'm going to take that right to the end. Press the insert button. So, first four shots assembled. Now at this point in the edit, we need a cutaway. Go back to the demo media bin. Scroll down to the bottom and locate the candle cutaways. I'm going to use cutaway four. Choose about four or five seconds of this shot. Play. And stop. Press the insert button. Okay, I'm going to put in the next couple of lines after the title and candle cutaway section. That's going to be from Kathy, clip edit one, clip C. Kathy says you know. Okay. Mark. You know. Insert. And Sophie replies with yeah. Edit one, clip D. Play. You know. Mark. Yeah. Yeah, no. Stop. Insert. So let's take it all the way to the top, have a quick review of what we've got so far. Watch. Like I'm ever going to give that part to Monica. <laughs> Did you see her dress? <laughs> <laughs> more, yeah, more like a birthday suit if you ask me. <laughs> anyway, well, she told me once that when she was in Mexico, You know, yeah, yeah, no. Clearly some fine tuning work to be done. We'll have a look at that in part two of this tutorial. So your objectives for now is to complete edit one in full, make new edits for edit two and three, and complete the rough cuts. Just get the lines in order. Don't worry too much about the timing because I'll show you how to fix that in part two. Good luck and see you next time. Thanks for watching.